Well, today is International Women's Day, and this year we're celebrating the contribution of women during this difficult year for all of us. NBC 10's Lauren Make shows us how women in our community are juggling it all and making a difference. Um, this is where the magic happens. It might not be magic, but it is a lot of work, something Zena Johnson Patrick is used to. If I asked you what you do, what would you what would you say? I would say, ask me what don't I do? <laughs> the grandmother, mother, wife, and businesswoman teaches cosmetology from home during the pandemic. When she isn't at the salon, she runs on South Street. I'm there Wednesday through Saturday and every other Sunday. Like so many women on this International Women's Day and every day, she juggles it all while taking care of family. I have a 78 year old mother. I'm like the helicopter parent. I have my mother and then I have my children. Then I had, so I had to be that mother, the mother to my mother, so because I said, Mom, you cannot leave out the house. So I made sure we went to the store for her. I made sure she had everything she had. I swear, Aldi and um, the supermarket were my best friends. This past year has presented new challenges for women, from working from home to kids staying home to financial challenges for families. It's been um, amazing how resilient women have been throughout this process. Nina Ahmed is president of the Education Fund for the National Organization for Women's Philadelphia chapter. The COVID pandemic has disproportionately impacted women, uh, both in terms of um, their uh, employment, uh, their life in general, you know, and particularly women of color, black women, Latinas in the workforce. It's a year when women made history on the national stage. Kamala Harris sworn in as vice president and made a difference locally, helping Philadelphians get access to testing and vaccines. What you're seeing is people like Dr. Ayala Stanford step up when she saw a need. Looking ahead, Ahmed says it's important to create lanes to help women who may have left the workforce during the pandemic get back in and take lessons we all learned about workplace flexibility. So we need to maintain that flexibility, right? We need to maintain the flexibility to women, for women to be in a workforce that is welcoming to them, that allows them to be the mom as well as the uh, functioning person at work. Zena Johnson Patrick doesn't have a lot of extra time, but when she found herself with some this past year, she joined forces with other women to form a group helping other salons and barber shops during the pandemic, knowing we as women we're survivors. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.